you know, it's not even fire season yet, but these drought conditions across the state are already creating an out-of-season challenge for foresters. Anna Saunders spoke with foresters today about what they're up against. During this time of year, outside of the fall fire season, we might get a handful of brush fires right now. But one forester tells me since July 1st, this region alone has seen 48. If the pre-fire season is challenging now with drought conditions, regional forester Charlie Spencer, who covers counties like Canal, Putnam and Cabell, says unless there is significant rainfall, it could make for a challenging fall fire season. Everything's getting really dried out and when fresh leaves fall that are pretty much dried out because they've been drought stricken and the sun starts drying them out on the ground. It, then we're into really bad conditions. Spencer said the last time he saw pre-fire season conditions like this was in 2001. He said the ground is so dry right now that leaves aren't just catching fire, that it's burning into the next layer of the ground, making it require more than just their leaf blowers and rakes. He said staffing is a challenge too, as they only have 65 field staff in the whole state. So they often lean on volunteer fire departments for help, who are also short-staffed. One person is not going to take care of a four or five hundred acre fire by themselves. So we, we end up pool, pooling resources and and bringing people from other counties when we can. But when the whole state's affected, then you know that that's when we really get into a lot of trouble. Linda Carnell is an assistant state forester for communications and education who is up in the eastern Panhandle. They were the first area in the state to feel the drought conditions, so the fire season didn't end in May. Now she's cautioning that even without a ban, burning is still not the best idea. Really pay attention to what the weather's doing. Just because it's a nice sunny day and very windy, it may be great for burning a brush pile, but it also may be great for a brush pile escaping and causing damage to lands of another. And with a holiday coming up, she said it's important to be extra mindful. When people are going to have campfires and cookouts. That's fine. Just be conscious of what's going on and make sure when you are done with that fire, it is out. In Canal County, Anna Saunders, Eyewitness News.